I'm Chuck Wagner from Camus Vineyards, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about Camus Cabernet Sauvignon. You know, I worked for 30 years with my folks, uh, alongside my dad in the vineyard, and helping him make his home wines to finally begin Camus, a commercial venture, with the production, first production in 1972 of 250 cases, and the retail price of which was $4.50 a bottle. It's a great time for our family, and something I always regard as most special part of my life is working with my parents in the creation of Camus Vineyards. The Napa Valley is about 30 miles long and three miles wide, and some of it, not all of it, can make great Cabernet Sauvignon. We look for soils that are with some rock or stone and where vines have to struggle. That's where great Cabernets are made. The site we are here has a little bit of a slope and it's perfect soil for Cabernet. Interesting, Cabernet Sauvignon berries look very much like blueberries. What's, what's most important and what's exquisite about the grapes that we're growing are the skins. The skin is where the color resides and most of the good tannins you find in wine. We receive grapes for both Camus Special Selection and Camus Napa Valley bottlings from eight sub-appellations of Napa Valley. This is a great valley and you can make great Cabernet Sauvignon, be it from Calistoga or from Coombsville on the other end of the Napa Valley. Camus Cabernet is approximately 75% Napa Valley floor and 25% hillside, and I like that blend. The wines of the hills are dark in nature, have a solid core and backbone, but when they're blended with the supple qualities of the valley fruit, they make a tremendous blend, and that is the style of Camus Cabernet. Farming from eight Appalachian gives us the ability to be flexible each year, and people often ask, what is special selection? How do we determine which wine is special selection, simply by tasting all of the wines blind and drawing from that vintage our very favorite wines of the year and separating those and aging them in barrels to be special selection. And we're often surprised with the origin of those wines. Sometimes the best grapes may have come from the Camus Vineyard in Rutherford. Other times it could be Calistoga, Yauntville, Coombsville, and or Atlas Peak. What we have developed over the years is a style of which we're very proud. They're not bitter, tannic, and tart wines. They're supple, rich, texturous, almost chocolate-type characters that come across from very ripe grapes in the special soils grown in Napa Valley. I would say our wines can age with the best of them, but probably at 10 years from vintage date is peak drinking for Camus.